Hey, Dr. Clark here. Welcome back to another financial mathematics video. This one, we're looking at strategies to mitigate portfolio risk. Let's take a look. So first, uh, just the notion of uh, grading bonds and then the idea of immunization and then duration matching, which is a way to uh, do immunization. So first bond grade. So the grade of a bond is a measure of its investment risk. Market yield rates are generally higher for more risky bonds. Um, so, uh, you know, you've got triple A bonds, double A, single A, that kind of thing. So typically the higher rated a bond is the lower the interest rate would be because you're more likely to get, you know, payment. There's less risk in that. And so it's sort of going to be set at an appropriate relative level. And then as risk goes up, then the interest rate goes up as well. Um, immunization is a an important thing to do when you have risk, you know, you're not guaranteed in anything. And so it's a way of mitigating risk to some extent, or at least um, being aware of it ahead of time. So cash flow matching is a strategy where future liabilities are matched exactly by future assets. This means that regardless of whether yield rates change, the liability can be paid off. So this is an interesting one um, where you're looking at the idea of um, you have things that you owe, so you've got payments that you have to go out with, but you also have payments coming in. And so cash flow matching is the idea that the payments coming in are matching the payments going out um, exactly. So maybe you own some bonds and maybe you've issued some bonds um, and it all sort of balances out. Okay. Um, so, and then a portfolio is immunized if it is protected, protected against interest rate risk, so changing interest rates. So um, immunization means, um, so if you have different, let's say you own different bonds that pay in at different times and you owe money coming out at different times. Um, well, if interest rates would change, then um, some of those things could be worth more and some of them could be worth less. And you could be in a situation where you're in trouble because uh, the things that became worth less became worth much less than the things that became worth more or something. So um, if things, if your values stay level, regardless of whether rates go up or down, then you're immunized at least against interest rates. Um, and duration matching involves creating a portfolio with a duration equal to the time of the future liability. So let's say you have uh, some assets that are paying in and you've got some liabilities getting paid out. Um, and you can look at the Macaulay duration, for example, of your assets and purchase assets in such a way that the Macaulay duration equals the time when you have to pay out. Um, if you do that, that will create an immunized portfolio um, so that if interest rates would change uh, because the times, because the Macaulay duration is equal to the um, time when the liabilities are owed, then the changing interest rates would affect them both equally. And so you wouldn't have an issue where one was sort of balanced and the other. Um, these topics are a little bit more esoteric perhaps, uh, but it's good to think about um, the effect of interest rates on especially bonds, but, uh, you know, a whole portfolio and then, you know, being sort of proactive so that, you know, changes in the market don't end up affecting you one way or another uh, adversely. So you're sort of, you know, thinking about this and, and reacting accordingly with some planning. So uh, we'll tackle the exploration in class and I'll see you then.